Well, you guys, I'm not going to be able to go fishing for a couple of weeks. As you can see, I'm on crutches. Had a little accident with my knee and uh, ended up in the ER and might have to have surgery. But I'm not going to let that stop me because I'm still going to show you how I built my um, my bike trailer and uh, for fishing. So let's get on with it. I'm just going to show you how it's done. So these things here are killing my armpits. Okay, well, a friend of mine yesterday... Uh, Gave me this uh, Schwinn bike deal trailer for kids. And what I'm going to do is turn it into my very own fishing wagon. So let's see how that goes, okay? Now the first thing I want to do is take all this off. I'm going to get it down to the bare metal. Let's see what I got to work with here. Now this is an all aluminum frame, so it's going to be pretty easy to work with. There we go. Alright, you guys already stripped everything down. I took out those little pipes because yeah, it wasn't going to work out for me. But now we're down to the bare frame of this bicycle trailer. And one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to just use pine wood. I had a bunk bed that I had laying around, so I'm just going to use that as my supplies for building this trailer you know if you have it why buy it right it doesn't have to be pretty because pretty don't catch fish so what we're going to do is start building this i'm going to show you how i do it okay right now this is pretty much the base i'm going to use it's pine wood so it's not going to add a lot of weight and it's pretty strong and um it'll hold a lot you know because I, I already built this thing and i stood on it and i weigh 170 so uh, let's see what happens you know it should work out pretty good basically i already did everything so i spared you all the cutting and everything so i drilled everything so i'm just going to put everything back together that way you get an idea of what i've got going on right here all right i'll be right okay, back. i got everything rigged up ready to go so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to sand this down a little bit okay it doesn't have to be that great but I just want to get a little grip on this because what I want to do, I got some Loctite. What I'm going to do is put the Loctite down here. And that's going to help keep the wood down once it's screwed. And also give me a little bit of shock um, resistance. You know, when uh, when you're going down those dirt roads, this is going to have a lot of bounciness to it. And you don't want all your stuff jumping around. So add a little Loctite to it. Doesn't have to be too much. As you know me, I'm, I overdo everything, so... And then we're just going to put everything back together. It's going to be something like this. Okay. We, now we just got to find the holes again. Okay, we have it all set down. I know some of you guys are going, hey, you know, what's up with the gaps and everything? But I did it like this because um, it rains a lot out here. So if I'm caught in the rain, I need the water to escape. I don't need it to be soaking into the wood. And eventually I'm just going to paint it but to help out but I need the I need this space for drainage and um, basically all it's going to have is a cooler in here and you know throw my gear in here when that's it so I don't really need a flat surface I mean if I would have went with a uh, a piece of plywood I mean it would have been a lot better but I didn't have it you know I'm using what I have on hand at the moment so this is it an old bunk bed all right from here what I want to do is uh, build up the side walls. You can see so far it's pretty. Look, it's looking pretty good. I mean, so what we're going to do is build up the side walls, and I'm using little pieces of wood like this. Again, it came off the bunk bed. All this stuff came off the bunk bed. So um, we're just going to do something like that. And we're just going to come up on it like this. We're basically just going to build up until we have like a little box area all right so when i'm done with that i'll show you what it looks like okay you guys see what i'm talking about here i'm it's got a flat surface and then it's got a little lip now that's not good enough to hold whatever i need to hold so we're gonna have to add a higher wall on here and then put some stuff around the ends here so um i'm gonna show you what that looks like next all right so what we're gonna do now that we have our sides up, we're going to go ahead and build up the front. As you can see what I'm doing here, I'm utilizing the holes that are right here. I don't know if you can see that. There's holes already pre-built into that. So I'm just going to make use of that so I don't have to keep drilling. 
and I'm going to show you how I lock it down on the sides here in a few seconds. All I'm using are wing nuts, you know, hold it down right here, and I'm just going to screw it in. That's just going to hold it, you know, and after that, we're going to build up the side walls, and when I'm done with that, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Be right, right back. There it is right there. It's locked down. We have the front. It's pretty solid for right now. Now we have the back to do and the sides so we can get it all together and I want to show you what that looks like in a few seconds because from here the build is going to be pretty easy. We'll be right okay, back. now that we have everything locked down we got the back ends looking good, we have the bottom, we have the lip coming up, we just need to add the sides. So what we're going to do, add some sides. And I'll show you how that looks when we're done. Okay, I pretty much have the whole thing set up. It's ready to go. Got the back, sides, bottom, right? Basic little box deal. I mean, you guys would think, hey, this, this thing weighs a lot, right? Because it's made out of wood. Well, this is pine wood. You got to remember that. Pine wood doesn't weigh a lot. So, um, I mean, pretty much, we're looking at maybe 15 pounds, 20 pounds right here, including the um, aluminum frame. And, uh, you know, where where you live, you know, maybe you have some hills that may be a lot for you. And you might want to go a different route of building one of these things here. But for me, I live in Florida, you know, we don't have any hills. I mean, the biggest thing we have out here, as far as the mountain goes, is called Mount Trashmore. And, and that's the local trash heap. That's like the highest point in all of Miami. So it's, everything out here is pretty much flat. So this will work out pretty good. I'm going to show you what it looks like with the tires on it. And then um, show you how I did it. Uh, how I managed to attach it to the bike. I'll be right back. Alright, well there it is with the tires on it. Not bad. I mean now I just have to um, figure out how I want to uh, make this into a fishing trailer. I mean I have the cooler so I need to know where I want to place my rod rack and everything like that. So um, you know it's a personal choice. You guys if you ever build one of these you can build one and um, do it the way you like. For me, I kind of like this. Not a bad little cart. Pretty sure it's going to last a couple of years. Really easy to move. I'm here with a busted up leg, so, you know, if I can do this, it, you know, it's not going to be a hassle. Alright, I know you guys are wondering, how am I going to attach this to the bike? I mean, this is an old Schwinn, um, one of those kid carrier deals, and it has a spring. I don't know, you see it right there, the spring, and it has a tube. Well, it came, it, it needs a special attachment that to attach to your bike, and it was supposed to go right here. And prior to my injury, I had ordered it, and I was just waiting on it, but I couldn't wait that long because I was planning on going fishing in about two days. It's going to take about two weeks for that part to get to me. So what I did, I came up with a part here. I, I basically cut a piece of pipe, made a bracket, and then I um, put one of those things on there. I don't know what the hell you call those things, but I added it, and I cut the bar on the bottom. Can you see that? I cut the bar on the bottom. That way, um, it'll have a good grip. Now, how did I attach that cart to this? Well, very simple. Okay, I had an old steel wagon handle that I didn't need anymore, and it has that little part right there, which made it really convenient for me, All right? So, like I said, I attached that steel tube, and I'm gonna take this tube right here, and I attach it inside, just like that all the way through all right and then I attach the steel pin that goes right here and what this does it allows me back and forth movements so if I lay the bike down it's just gonna you know it's just gonna flatten out for me but the pin will never move you see what I'm saying so that's what I did until my part comes in that I could take all this mess off and then well I'm not gonna be doing any fishing very soon but 
well that's what I did for a short for a short term deal let me show you how it looks okay there is what it looks like see that and here's a complete setup right here oh, Jesus there it is I mean it's pretty decent for what it is you know used parts I you know I had everything here so and um gives me the lay down motion see how this see how that floats around that spring right there gives me the up and down I mean for a temporary fix I mean that was pretty good I don't know if it's gonna hold up because you know those bolts are pretty small but um that was the plan just for one day anyway until that part comes in and then um you know I have my cooler uh, let me get it right now. I was gonna stick my cooler right here it's perfect I was gonna stick my cooler right here if it's perfect I was gonna put some rod holders back here maybe I don't know I'm gonna figure out how I want it done but for right now I mean it's not a bad setup well here it is in one package the whole deal right here hopefully I inspire some of you guys to go out there and do your own thing you know bike fishing is a lot of fun that's for sure you know you get to go on those off roads and where cars and boats can't go and you get to carry extra stuff so hopefully this will work out for you guys. Until the next time, have a good one. I'll see you on the water soon.